and soil That's the only bit of toil The seats you keep Those ones you will never reap Get out to make hay Keep the pride and heat away That's the only That's the only way to go A few minutes more, please. <laughs> Mom, we need to leave. Let's go. <laughs> Mom, please, let's go. I took his food to him. He now finished eating. So I, I went to clear the plate and I met Ma at the door. And she insisted on seeing him. And I told her that you made clear instructions that no one should see him. That's why she's crying. Welcome, madam. And where's the plate you cleared? Um, he, he, he's eating, I will go back. I thought you said that. He had finished eating. Um, madam, um, that's See, what... patience. I want to say... <laughs> what have you turned into? Coco, what have I turned into? I've turned into exactly what you have turned me into. Good evening, Mama. Coffee, coffee. I didn't know you were around. Oh, I came a couple of days ago. How are you? You've grown to a big man now. Oh, Mama, you always say this, Mama. <laughs> but by the way, Mama, where is Coco? Coco is over there. Okay, Mama. Thank right. you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama.
Oh my god. I'm not hurting you. Please sit down. You've been working all day on whatever this is. Thank you. Can we stop it? Alex, please don't hurt me. I'm just trying to kiss you. Cox, are you okay? Are you okay? So was that the emergency? That was yesterday's emergency. <laughs> So what's today's emergency? Cox, are you okay? Come, 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 for you at the office. It's almost 10 a.m. Good morning, officer. Can I help you? Good morning. Sergeant Abdul from the State Police Station. Mm -hmm. A woman made a report about your son. He beat up your daughter to stupor and I heard you take him in for questioning. My son? Yes. Beat up someone? Who is it? Hey, Junior! Junior! Ah, what, what exactly happened? He beat up his classmate and she is in the hospital right now. Please, sir, you may have to follow me to the police station right now. Follow you to the... with my son? Yes, please. Officer, give me one moment. Let me change. Hey, Didi, why are you looking so fine? Where's the report on the case? Um, you should be done by now. I, I, I just need to... We don't have time for excuses. Down. You should be done by now. I thought that was what you stayed late to do yesterday. Yes. Um, some... Some things came up. Get it done. Okay. What is it? See, I just don't know what you want me to tell you anymore. Just tell me the truth. 
I know I'm a useless and unfruitful woman. I won't be upset. Tell me the truth. How many times do you want me to tell you that there's nothing going on between Coco and I? I've told you several times, and you know it. I don't know anything. I don't. So, so, what do you want me to do now? Call her. Put it on loudspeaker. What? Really? I knew it. I knew it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If that will make you believe me, I'll do that. I've done it, madam. Done what? I sold it. The case you gave me. But I didn't give you a case. Oh, twice so this said you said that I should. Wait. I told her to let you go and do research on the case, not to have you go and crack the whole case. Well, I'm happy she did. Let me see. The number you're trying to read. She knows you are with your wife. You see, what has come over you? Coco is equally your friend. Yes, but I don't sleep with her. I didn't sleep with anyone. Then, let's bring this. Oh, um, she told me. usually say this but this is brilliant thank you coco but wait how did you know to go directly to the ministry of gender children and social protection well that's what you do look who is becoming just like me there's a mr follow me team his son was taken in for assault what his son was assaulted oh wait his son was the assaulter. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, good job, keep it up. Thank you. Hello, sir, my name is... I know who you are, I just need your help. Okay. What happened? A certain woman came with armed policemen to my house, banging at my door, almost broke it. I honestly thought I had killed someone just to tell me my son beat up a girl. Can you imagine? I, I'm sorry, sir. Which is harder to believe? The banging and breaking of the door, the fact that your son beat up someone? Of course, the fact that my son beat up someone. I mean, he's just a girl. They always beat each other in school. <laughs> sir. You said the woman came to your house with a policeman. So where are they? Oh, they are at the station. You left your son alone at the police station? Oh, no, no. He's with our lawyer at the station. So then what do you want from me? Our lawyer said to get you instead. So here I am. Can you help fix the mistake? Mr. Afola, from everything you said, there's only one question I need you to answer. And I think I have said everything to you. Can you help me or not? Wait, wait, wait. If you are going to give me this attitude, then you can leave. Okay? I easily get tensed up sometimes. Exactly what I'm coming to. Where's your wife? 
she's alive. But what has they got to do with anything? Isn't she your son's mother? Well, all I take care of him. She, she's useless. I don't even know why you married that lady. I don't know why. Mr. Fuller, do you beat your wife? <laughs> That's part of marriage. Abuse is never a part of marriage. In fact, I now understand why your son is alleged to have beaten someone. He's taken after you. Wait, I wait, wait. Has he seen you beat your wife? Mr. Fuller, you know I can report your conduct to Dove Soul. And you coming here was a mistake. Hey, sit down. Now, you will go and get your wife. And then the mother of the girl at the hospital. Bring them both here within the next hour before I help you. I can get the mother of the girl. But for my wife, what has she got? Everything. To... Why are you moody? Titi, why are you moody? I'm just I'm telling that this I want to go to school. Titi. Don't cry. Please don't cry. Everything will be fine soon. You will see. I'm praying for us every day. God will help us. Why does mommy love me and help me? <sighs> Titi, your mommy will beat me up. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. You know what? Let me get you your food so that you eat, okay? I'll be back soon. Please don't cry, okay? Thank you, ladies, for honoring my invitation. I really want us to be able to settle this before it gets legal. Mrs. Deborah, thank you so much for coming. I am only here because I respect you and the good things you do for the children. But trust me, this boy is a monster. No, he's not. Believe me, he isn't. Mrs. Safa, please look at me. Can you please take off your glasses? Mrs. Deborah, the boy at the center of all of this is just a victim of his circumstances. This circumstance. I'm sorry about what happened, madam. We didn't train him to be that way. Oh, but she clearly showed him the way. I'm sorry, madam. There is nothing to be sorry about. I've kept quiet for too long. <laughs> I'm a mother. I know exactly how you must be feeling. <laughs> but please, he only acted based on what he has seen consistently. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm ashamed. I have allowed it. <laughs> but please, forgive him. We will cover the medical expenses. So please, forgive him. It won't happen again. Well, I pray to God again. You have to leave this monster alone. This nonsense has to stop, Mr. Fuller. 
I am going to report you to the Domestic Violence and Victim Unit of the Ghana Police so that they can take this up. Mm. Mm. I understand, madam. I'm very sorry. I didn't know. Uh, oh, you're sorry. You see, I've come to see that people only say sorry in the moment. They don't really mean it. When you were here earlier and we were talking, you didn't seem to think that you done anything wrong. But suddenly, you know better. Wow. And you, madam, you need to speak up before he kills you. You have a voice. Use it. Do you understand? If he ever tries anything on you again, call me. Do you hear me? I need to hear you say it. Okay, Mom. I'll call you. Good. Now both of you should go and get your son. It's the rules. Oh my god. What's the doing on my table? Oh, it was delivered to you. See. I had a meeting this morning and somehow I got into a room with about eight stunning women. And the only person I could think of was you. I know you would say there is no connection, but I really like whatever I feel for you. I hope these roses make you smile and a bit bashful. Charles. <laughs> 